I have had a couple comments in videos that people mention something about my eye. So here I am now stuck with nobody really to fix. Basically so you're on your just own. be careful if you, yeah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm standing there, okay, now what? Hey guys, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So as you know, life can throw you some twists and turns. And in this video, we're gonna talk about that with my health and talk about why I can't drive the motor home anymore. But before we go any further, this video is sponsored by Liquid Spray. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your Class A, B, C, or Super C motorhome with the best suspension system on the market, Liquid Spring is it. We now have Nelly with the four corner system and it drives like my Ram Rebel, it's unbelievable. <laughs> yes, it really, really is. You can get this as an option out of the factory from Tiffin, Fleetwood, Holiday Rambler. And if you use the code RIDE ENDLESSLY, you will save up to $750 off a new Liquid Spring system. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I find out more information about Liquid Spring? Well, we're gonna put the contact information for Wayne Wells from Liquid Spring. He will answer all your questions, but more importantly, he will tell you where the Liquid Spring demo vehicles are around the country. So you can go and you can test drive one and experience it. And I'm gonna tell you that you're probably gonna wind up buying one if you do. So again, if you want the very best suspension upgrade, look no further than Liquid Spring. So for those of you that are new to our channel or that have followed us, recently MJ had some pretty significant health issues. Uh, we talked about it on a video, we will link it above. Right, so check that out if you're not sure what's going on, but I, there is some good news on that front. So my heart has been doing great. I did not have an ablation. I'm actually weaning off the heart medication with no episodes, no atrial fibrillation, no racing heart rate. Mm -hmm. I'm doing great. I'm exercising, running, I'm exercising. Right. Yeah, so it's it's looking really good that I may be able to completely come off the medication and not have any issues. So that's awesome. Unfortunately, there were other things that in that video we didn't talk about that had been going on for a while. So we wanted to share this with you because I have had a couple comments in videos that people mentioned something about my eye that my eye seemed that it was off or something. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Unfortunately, that news is not as good right now, but we are hoping for the best. So back in November, I decided to get monovision done. I had had LASIK 10 years ago, went great, but I'm older now. So I wanted to get rid of the reading glasses and have one eye distance, one eye reading. It would be great. Went back to the doctor. Now you're gonna wanna stay because there's a twist <laughs> in the story that you are not gonna this believe. This only happened to only MJ. Only us, right? Well, yeah, only me. Went back to him. Yeah, you're a great candidate. Let's do the surgery, blah, blah, blah. Had the surgery done in November. And within a few days, I knew something was wrong. I was not seeing clearly. I was in pain. I was tearing. And he said, oh, it's, you know, this is normal, whatever. Well, about two weeks after, after I found out I had something called epithelial ingrowth, which is where when they lift the flap of the cornea, if you're not um, familiar with LASIK, when they put it back down, some cells, if they creep under that flap, that's called epithelial ingrowth, and that'll continue to grow. That can cause distortion in your vision and pain and sensitivities to sunlight, and the list goes on. Well, lucky me, I got that. So basically- it's like what, a two or a 10% chance or something like that? It's a very it's, small chance. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the epithelial ingrowth can recur, and each time it comes, you have to do what's called the lift and scrape. They lift the flap, they clean the cells, and put it back down. There's there's no other way really to address it and you just have to hope for the best that it doesn't continue happening. Luckily for my left eye, it happened once and it hasn't happened since. My poor right eye, it has happened and we are now on the fifth time. So the beginning of May, I actually have to go under the knife again for the fifth time. I've had uh, scar tissue develop. I've had other issues develop now because of this surgery. So I basically have had not really good vision at all for months now. Although your left eye is doing much better. Left eye is slowly starting to come back, but unfortunately this is my reading eye, the left eye, so I have to wear distance glasses. I went from wanting no glasses to wearing like three different pairs of <laughs> glasses all the time. I usually don't wear them in videos. Yeah, so vision has been a real issue and unfortunately I cannot drive Nelly and I don't, my hope is that I will be able to drive her at some point. I want to get to this interesting twist and turn now. So, so I was scheduled to go back to my doctor that did the surgery. He said he was going to fix it for the third time, I think, for the third yeah. fix. Yeah. And I get a text from somebody who knows the doctor about a week before my procedure and said, Dr. So-and-so died. 
Dun, dun. Died. He had cancer that nobody knew about, and that was it. And I had literally just seen him a week before. So here I am now stuck with nobody really to fix these surgeries without paying a lot of money. And some doctors actually don't even want to fix it. No, I had actually gone to see a couple of doctors and they said, we don't touch other people's flaps. Basically, so you're on your just own. Be careful. If you, yeah, mm -hmm. you, you really have to be careful with this type of surgery. So now I'm standing there, okay, now what? Well, I found a doctor in New York City who is phenomenal. He's a laser and corneal surgeon. He is fantastic and he has me on the right path and he's hopeful that within he said a year that I should be able to see better so I can see I just don't see clearly if I go in a store a big store I can't really make things out you know I have to ask Izzy a lot now you see me sometimes squinting that's probably why it's been a nightmare pretty much but Again, the gratitude thing has crept in. So now I'm grateful. If I put on a pair of glasses and I have a little bit of sight, I'm like, yes, I'm so happy. And again, another thing, I think the lesson, I always learn, what lesson am I supposed to be learning from this? I really think it is to not have instant gratification, that things take time, that I know I'm not gonna get my sight back really Maybe for a year is mm -hmm. what this doctor is saying. Maybe by the meetup you can see the guests. Maybe, maybe, yes. So that's my hope. And again, I try to find the good in these things. But yeah, it's really frustrating. I mean, there's there's days, but I, I do celebrate. Like today we were driving and I had my distance glass. And I could see out of the, my left eye, which was really cool. But the right, that one is just not really cooperating yet. So we're on our way. So a couple things you can take from this. <laughs> I'm laughing, it's not funny. But uh, if, no. you, if the choice is between wearing glasses and getting LASIK, just wear the glasses, right? I'm gonna correct you actually. <laughs> LASIK is fine. What happened in my situation is that I found out from a couple other doctors that getting monovision done after LASIK is risky, which yeah. I was not told by my doctor. And so that would be the takeaway. LASIK, yeah. if you find a good doctor, there's no problem with it. My first LASIK surgery was great. Mm -hmm. I'm really curious if any of you have had monovision done or if you've had LASIK. Or you've had complications from it. Yeah, or if you have complications, put it in the comments below. And the one other thing is that I get to drive the motor home now all the time with liquid spray. That's what sucks because I need to feel those, well, thank God I did get to do the test drive with the liquid spraying, so I know what it feels like, but I'm chomping at the bit to get back behind the wheel. But you know what, I just have to be patient and I'll just sit back with my feet up and let him chauffeur me around for a while. So, so everybody in the comments below, leave, uh, if you know anything about LASIK, if you had a similar issue or whatever it may be. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you on, on the road. road. I could tell by the way you were looking at me, I was Found. For you counted down, you watch my every move